Okay, in this little video, I want to see if this doesn't kind of suggest that electric currents don't rotate when they go through a wire. <clears throat> it's hard to do this with AC because using a magnet, the wire just bounces because it's going back and forth, so you really can't get a true reading. So I'm going to use a DC, have a 12 volt battery, uh, 275 cranking amps. This is the positive, the red wire coming out, going past a one inch sphere of magnet and a half sphere of plastic so it can move freely as you see. It can spin however it wants to in there. And then I go to my switch here, positive here, and then when I connect the switch, it goes out the ground, the back side of the switch to the ground of the battery. And this is my direction of rotation of the magnet, which is like the TV screen and my electric current 15,000 volt shows. And I've just got a piece of copper here so I can kind of keep the magnet in the, <laughs> In the hemisphere because when I hit this juice the magnet tends to jump out of it as it spins to where it wants to go so the point of this is the magnet uh, well we'll go back and how Yonel and Lori a fractal woman Yonel Dinu have shown that as the current moves through the wire it spins the ether up around it in the opposite direction you know one side is going to be spinning this way and up here it's going to be spinning the opposite way so they're opposite sides but i don't think the magnet because we'll see one spin on one side is a north and the spin on the other side is a south the magnet doesn't recognize those as we do in the sense of where it is positioned to the wire uh, i'll show you what happens but i want to tell you first what always happens is the rotational point between the poles always goes to the wire but with the magnet rotating in the direction that the current's moving so if, you know if the current was rotating around the wire it should flip the magnet on one side or the other but it doesn't it always wants to go down or up depending on which way the current's going with the wire in this vertical uh, orientation i can put the wire sideways and it does the same thing but the magnet turns this way you know with the wire long ways like up here but here I want to show you up and down because you can see the magnet better. I'm hoping you can see it good. So if you see now, I'll put the south up. And I'm not going to leave this wheel in this position. I'm going to put it like that. Where you can see it's going down on the side of the wire. I'll make sure you can see everything. So when I energize this battery, watch the south will go to the right and the north will go towards you. And one, two, three. Oops, it jumped out. I didn't hold it good enough let me do it again and one two three if you notice that the north goes towards you the south away from you and it goes back to rest like that when i let off the juice the, just the point of this is if i put the magnet on the other side i have to flip my wheel now because when it pulls to the current it's going to flip the other way south towards you and north away and one two three and there it goes, south towards you and north away. So the magnet's not seeing a north and south on either side necessarily. It's just seeing the direction of the rotation of the ether on that side of the wire, which matches up with the direction of rotation of the magnet. So they're in sync. Because I can turn it the other way. My uh, battery's wires are getting pretty hot. <clears throat> I'll do one quick one here because my wires are real hot about to fry in two. I've, I've reversed this, so watch what it does. It reverses it back. And it doesn't matter. You know, if I put it out front here, it's going to turn this way, you know, go down that way. And if I put it over here, of course, it's going to turn that way. So it's always in the middle of the magnet that goes to the current in a wire, like a DC current. Like I said, AC, the magnet tries to flip back and forth, but it ends up just vibrating the wire against the uh, magnet because it, the current moves too fast for the magnet to be able to spin. So it just vibrates. I've tried that. I can show you. I have videos the past that do show that. So I wanted to show that. And this is a stranded wire. It's not a solid wire. It's stranded in, in, a, in a, a vortex or wrap, a coil. You know, it's wrapped around itself in a winding so that doesn't have any effect on the magnet either it always just goes lines up with the direction of the current and i just showed that and i'll do one more 
I can, well, I don't know if you can see from back there. We'll do it from up here. Right now it's north towards the wire, but it should turn like this, if you see that. I don't know, I guess you can see it over there. Don't roll away. It's going to turn with the south to the to your right and the north to your left. And one, two, three, and it jumped out. I'll have to hold it better. I'll put it with north up, and it should go with the north to your left. And that keeps jumping out on me. Put south up and try it again. Now I'm too close. It's really pulling it in. I may be too close to the bend in the wire too. Try it one more time. Uh, put the south up, try and hold it in there. And it wants to go north to the left, if you saw that. North to the left. I mean, I'm kind of at the bend in the wire. But it, it follows right in the middle of the magnet. It doesn't want to go north over or south over. It's always right between the poles to where it's got full, you know, accountability of rotation by both poles are equal. So that tells me there's not a rotation in the wire. Okay, before I quit this, I went to a smaller battery so you can see it a little better. Uh, it doesn't jump as much. I'm gonna try and zoom in a little better on it. So you can see what the magnet does. So I'm gonna turn it, you know, I guess blew up, whatever. But it's gonna turn like this wheel down with the wire. And one, two, three. If you see, when I let go, it'll go wherever it wants to, but when I juice it, I always like the wheel down with the wire, the bolt. That's positive red going through the switch. And I'll put it on this side, and you'll see it's gonna turn with blue towards you. And blue towards you, let off, spin it around, put red up, I guess, and energize, blue towards you. And we'll go on this side, and it should turn that way. Turn this like that, and energize red towards you. Get a little closer to the wire, will do it better. I'll put blue up, south up, energize red towards you. It's a little crooked here, I don't know why. Must be the way I got it sitting on the wire against the wire, I'm not sure. But it wants to go red towards you. It just follows the rotation of the magnet going to the current. So I don't think the current's rotating. It just does what it wants to do and it pulls right between the poles. You can call it whatever you want, you know, plane of inertia or however Ken explains it. And it's just, to me, it's where the both sides are feeding in and they cancel each other out, but there's rotation there from both sides rotating as I showed you or will show you in another video about how I think the magnetic field is rotating in small vortexes, which all equal into one big vortex around the whole magnet. That's it.